Today we're talking about keeping the single-tailed goldfish like the comet or the shabunkin with a double-tailed goldfish like a black moor or a veal tail or a fan tail, whichever one. As you can see, the veal tail has a very different body and tail than the single-tailed common goldfish. People say you can't put tailed goldfish with double-tailed or fatter body goldfish. Stop the cow! <laughs> The reason why you can't keep single-tailed goldfish with double-tailed goldfish is because one will get food aggressive if you are not feeding them enough, which was the single-tailed goldfish, obviously. The double-tailed goldfish will get bullied while the single-tailed goldfish will bully it. <laughs> but if you're a good fish keeper, then you know how to do it. If you are trying to mix a single-tailed with the double-tailed goldfish, then you need the right tank, and I'm going to show you what that is. The kind of tank you're aiming to have is one with two different territories on each side of the tank. It doesn't have to be anything huge, just a rock or a piece of wood, and one of these goldfish will claim it. We do this because in the wild, a fish will see another fish probably once and never see that fish again. But in a fish tank, you cannot separate them. So we try to separate them as much as we can and to put distance between them. Like a piece of wood to swim around. So if a chase does begin, they can always swim around this and lose sight of one another. So what you need to keep a single-tailed goldfish and a double-tailed goldfish is a good amount of food at separate territories so they can take their breaks and feel safe when needed. So, skinny body goldfish can only live with fat body goldfish if you are taking care of them right. So, what you need is territories, good amount of food, and that's it. And they're, they live happy together. Look at them. There is no problem in the tank right now. There's barely ever a problem, and when there is, you deal with it. You move things around, and things things change. All right, that was it for today, and if you liked the video, no need to like or subscribe. Just go down in the comments, ask me some questions about your fish, and I'll answer them, because 